Hello and welcome to Naughty Daddy's Guide to Computing from Maths to Minecraft. In the previous video we added up some binary numbers. Let's now add up a few more binary numbers for the purpose of practice. Let's take um, just some arbitrary numbers. Let's say 31 plus 10. It's easy to do in decimal, that's just 41. OK, no problems. All right, so let's convert this to binary. We'll write out our column headings. 2 to the power 0 is 1. 2 to the power 1 is 2. 2 to the power 2, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 to the power 3 is 4 times 2 is 8. 2 to the power 4 is 8 times 2 is 16. 2 to the power 5, 16 times 2 is 32. Okay, 32 is going to be enough to handle even that 41 if we add on the you know, 16s and whatever. We, we're certainly going to be able to handle that within this amount but I'm going to add another column anyway 2 to the power 6 and that will be 64 I will explain why I'm I always go one extra column in the following video okay so here we are we've got our column headings we want to convert the number 31 to binary so 64 is obviously too big. There are going to be 0 64s in 32. Okay, 32 is also too big. So the closest number without going over is 16. So there's a 1. We need 1 16 to make the 31. Okay, so what are we left with when we take 16 away from 31? Okay, well, that's fairly reasonable. Um, that's going to be 15. Okay, so the nearest number to 15 without going over is 8. So we have an 8. So if we take the 8 away from the 15, actually, I think I should probably write down the calculations. So it's 31 take away 16 is 15 and then 15 take away 8 is 7 okay the nearest number to 7 without going over is 4 so we can put a 1 in the 4's column and then we've got 7 take away 4 is 3. Very good. So how do we make up 3? Well, the nearest number to 3 without going over is 2. And then 3 take away 2 is 1. And then if we add a 1 in the 1's column, that will make 0. So that's the end. OK, I'm going to get rid of these calculations now. Okay, beautiful. So 31 is 00111111. Let's just double check. So that's 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 plus 16 is 31. Okay, so now we need to find 10. Let's do it the same way. Well, clearly. There are no 64s. 64 is way too big. So, and also there's no 32s. 16 is also too big, so there are no 16s. Yes, there's an 8. In fact, we know 8 plus 2 is 10. So we don't have to go through the rigmarole. There you go. So your 10 is 0, 0001010 using a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7-bit word. Okay, 
So now we just add these together. And adding two binary numbers together is so simple, even a machine can do it. In fact, thus the whole point of doing this is to create a machine that can do it. All right, so we're adding these numbers together. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. Carry the 1. Okay, because 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 is 1, 0. 1 plus 1 is, again, 2, so that's a 0, and carry the 1. This time it's 1 plus 1 is 2, but we now need to add another 1 to make 3. So 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1, but there's also that 1, so this is 1, and carry the 1. And then 1 plus 1 is, of course, 0, carry the 1. 0 plus 0 is 0, but add the 1, and you get a 1. And then, that's 0 plus 0 is 0. So our answer is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. And if I delete those carries, I create space for myself. And now let's add up these numbers and convert back to decimal and check that our answer is correct. So that's 1, 1 times 1, plus no 2s, plus no 4s, plus 1, 8. So that's 8 plus 1 is 9. There are no 16s, and there's 132. So that's 9 plus 32 is 41. So that is correct. All right, so we've just added another set of binary numbers. OK, let's add another example. This time, this, let's just add 7 plus 6, just for fun. OK, so what's 7 plus 6? Well, 6 plus 6 is 12, so, so this is going to come out to 13. OK, let's add these in binary. Well, we're going to need a 1, that's for sure. We're going to need a 2. We are going to need a 4. We are going to need an 8. For sure. We can, we can make up 13 with just 8, 4, 2 and 1. But I'm going to go 1 extra which I will explain why in the next video. 2 to the power 4 is 16. So we're going to use a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5-bit word. OK. So we want to get 7. All right. Well, 7 is very easy to convert to binary. We don't need any 16s. We obviously don't need any 8s. We need a 4. 4 take away 7 is 3. 3 um, take away 2 is 1. And 1 take away 1 is 0. OK. I actually knew it was going to be all the 1s before I did those calculations. And the reason I know is because 7 is 1 less than 8. And if we add 1 to all the 1s, we get a 1 in that column and all zeros. So if it's 1 less than one of the column headings, you can just fill all the others up with 1s. OK, so 6. Well, 6 is just 1 less than 7. So if I write out the number for 7 and take 1 away from it, instead of a 1, that becomes a 0. That gives us our 6. OK, so we add these up. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 0, plus 1 is 1, but we still have to carry a 1. What 0 plus 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1, and then we have a 0. OK, tidy that up a little bit. So what is this number in um, base 10? So this is 1 plus 4 plus 8. Well, 
4 plus 8 is 12, add 1 is 13, so we did indeed get the calculation correct. Okay, something interesting comes of this knowing that if it's 1 less than the next highest column headings, it's just all the 1s. What is the biggest number that a 16-bit CPU can address. The CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. It's, it's the core of your computer. So if you say you've got a 16-bit CPU, what's the highest memory number it can address, assuming all the memory locations are integer numbers? We've not yet began to deal with decimals, and we won't deal with decimals at this stage. OK, so let, let's ask ourselves this question. We've got a 16-bit word. And what's the biggest number we can make with a 16-bit word? So let's count how many we have. 2 to the power 0 is 1-bit word. 2 to the power 1 is a 2-bit word. 2 to the power 2 is a 3-bit um, word. 2 to the power 3 is a 4-bit word. 2 to the power 4 is a 5-bit word. So you see how the, the pattern's developing. So 2 to the power 15 would be a 16-bit word. And what would be the highest number that we can technically use with a 16-bit word? Well, that's going to be 2 to the power 15 plus 2 to the power 14 plus 2 to the power 13 plus 2 to the power 12 plus 2 to the power 11 plus 2 to the power 10 and so on, all the way up to a 1 in the 2 to the power zeros. And what do we know about all the 1s? If we add 1 to it, we have a 1 in the next column up. So the biggest number that you could hypothetically write out with a 16-bit word is actually 2 to the power 16 minus 1, which should be 65,536 minus 1 is 65535. I say hypothetically because we cannot do that and I will explain why in the next video.